of the millions who would be affected by the repeal of the Affordable Care Act live right here in the Coachella Valley. KMIR's Vince Marino joins us live in studio now with more. Vince. Do you know the health care experts I spoke with today said the Affordable Care Act is extremely complex and replacing it is going to be an uphill battle for President-elect Donald Trump's administration. Before the Affordable Care Act... The train that we were on was, was heading for a cliff. You know, the old insurance, uh, the old way people got insurance. Uh, there had to be a change. But after it passed... People of the Coachella Valley um, have benefited greatly from the um, requirements of Obamacare. Since its passage, hundreds of thousands of residents in the desert have gotten coverage, people with pre-existing conditions can't be denied insurance, and young adults can stay on their parents' plan until they turn 26. But President-elect Donald Trump says... Obamacare is a disaster. Health insurance experts say there are problems. It's not a perfect law, and there are fixes that you can make to it. But to basically say we're going to replace it and not know what and when breeds uncertainty. Although President-elect Trump wants to replace Obamacare, it won't be easy. I think the hard part is going to be for the, for the new administration to come up with a plan that makes sense. Um, the more and more people look at the Affordable Care Act, the more they realize there wasn't a heck of a lot else we could do. After a year of discussions between Democrats and Republicans, it's very difficult to say what could happen with any certainty. I think we don't know what it looks like because what we're hearing now is a lot of potential solutions. It's really up in the air right now. I mean, who knows? Uh, if you force insurance companies to take people with pre-existing conditions, that means their costs are going to be higher. They're going to pay out a lot more in benefits. Premiums will be going up just like they have been. Uh, not a lot would change. Experts also say that although the expansion of Medi-Cal has done a pretty good job of covering low-income individuals, it is the consumers just above the low-income level who are having a very difficult time affording their health care. At a certain point, those individuals could end, up, could end up simply paying the tax penalty and opting out of medical insurance altogether. Gino, back to you.